stalker teeth. Pack loaded down with stalker teeth. What? That would strengthen what? The just oh, that's what happens if you don't hit play. If you to the palm of her hand. Yeah, if you click on somewhere in the bar, it starts playing there. Huh. Play. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. I was going to say, it's a little hard to argue that she had them eating out of the palm of her hand if she also was attacked, clearly, and had to fight them? Or were those two separate expeditions? Huh. Also, what, what's the point of living here if you have to kill everything that makes it wonderful? You don't have to kill everything. That's part of how nature works carnivores eating other things is normal so killing and eating some versions of things is not abnormal it just makes you part of the ecosystem you're not wiping out the entirety of all stalkers you're just you know fighting over territory and eating which is not abnormal it's what they're already doing but it's fun yeah they're observing the behavior and learning from it it's, it's in some ways even They'll probably go beyond stuff that I know in some of this. So... Degasi voice log. This one... Oh, this is multiple people. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. I think that stops working when money stops mattering because you're cut off from society forever. You know, like now. Oh, did they go even deeper down? Maybe they didn't die. Let's find out. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Yeah, she's not taking commands anymore. So they went deeper. If we go by that, they might even be alive, which is interesting. Oh, you'd hope so. Yeah. They might be alive down there, even further down, or they might have made it further down at the very least. Where are they going deeper, though, I wonder? I guess further into that cave, there must be a place where it goes down. All the more reason to be charting things or having an exit plan. Huh. Scary. At the moment, I can't even take a vehicle down there, so... Not really an option. I'm very much limited by how far I can take my breathing when I leave my vehicle. 
I think I've read this before. Yeah, I've read this before. Marguerite made it in, uh, Marguerite made his log speaking freely. These conniving, corporate, bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. So first of all, she is probably the person of this group that would survive being in fucking Monster Hunter. <laughs> in fact, she actually sounds a lot like a character from Monster Hunter World, that one ecologist-style character you meet later in the story, the older woman. Uh, I mean, it's not inconceivable that it just is the same voice actress. Although this one's meaner. <laughs> this character's meaner than anyone in Monster Hunter. Uh, I have a, I have a, that's, I either ha, I have a question here. It's either a plot hole or it's new information that's important. She wants to go deeper with a sea moth. To be clear here, they're already 200 meters down and she wants to go deeper with a sea moth. That raises questions because my sea moth can't go below, can't, I can't even reach their base they were already at. So like, they'd be crafting a sea moth at a depth I can't even reach in the first place. So they must have been, found a way to upgrade sea moths to go even deeper, if that's her plan. Unless she just isn't thinking this through and her plan is stupid and didn't work immediately. Assuming her, assuming her plan's not stupid, then I must be able to upgrade my sea moth to go even deeper. And, and I don't necessarily need to make the cyclops to get fruit any deeper. Because the Cyclops sounds like a major project. Also, I don't have any... anything about how I'm going to craft that. Paul Torgel's log, number two, Dilemma. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Made her think she's better suited to lead? Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another E.T. in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. A Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship, or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet... They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> he's still psyched about how much how much money he's going to make when he gets out of here, and I'm I'm betting he didn't get out of here. I'm betting he's dead. God damn though, medicine's real good in this universe, at least if you have the money, because he has a lot of money. So I don't know how good it is for normal people, which is the depressing thing to think about. Uh, but man, 
living to 160 is some pretty good shit. Blueprints. Equipment. Stasis Rifle. Yeah, I want to learn about you. Stasis Rifle uses patented technology to slow time around an entity to a near a full stop, as the laws of physics w will permit. Damn. Essentially, uh, essentially anchoring the, the target in place without affecting its internal workings. It is designed to facilitate scientific and engineering operations by expanding the window of opportunity for action in time-sensitive scenarios. Like... Like building a support for something while everything while everything just stays in place, basically. The stasis rifle features an independent, replaceable power cell, and the trigger may be held down to increase the area of effect and duration. Common applications include slow, slowing fast-moving mechanisms such as fan belts to facilitate maintenance operations, temporarily incapacitating organisms for research purposes. It does exactly what I hoped it would do. Navigating perilous spaces by freezing potential th threats. NB may not function correctly on larger life forms. Oh. Huh. The Altera Stasis Rifle lives fast. Why not put it on pause? May not work on larger life forms. How large is large? Coral snake? Reef back? Only one way to find out, which is the hard way. Great. Can't wait. Can't wait to find out that the hard way. Plant? Uh, planters and pots. Interior planters come in handy for uh, and a variety of configurations. Allow for the mo uh, for most plant species to be grown in small numbers for decorative and or botanical use. Yeah, I'm hoping the second part's real useful because decorative is not a priority right now. Although it may become one. Water filtration system. The filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source. Automatically spits it splits it into a its constituent parts, and outposts consumable liquid water and salts while disposing of any harmful by byproduct. It can be built in any compatible habitat module, but has substantial power requirements. Substantial power requirements, so I have to deal with that too. But uh, that's a big deal. <clears throat> that's a really big deal. I should look into seeing whether or not... I should look into whether or not my new stuff lets me build the bioreactor, because, uh, I don't think, I don't know if solo's gonna be enough in this situation. The Altera water filtration system. Any liquid into pure, refreshing, pH-balanced water? Yes, sir, any liquid. Hmm. Gives me water and salt. Although, what am I gonna use the salt for if I'm already getting purified water without the need- I, I used the salt for that in the first place. There must be other uses for it, I guess. Thermal plant. The, oh, this would also give me power, huh? The first rule of survival is hostile in hostile environments is to work with the resources available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death at any moment, you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. Converts heat energy into electricity. Always take thermometer readings before attempting installation. Uh, core mechanisms are housed in heat-resistant chassis, but are not impervious to heat uh, extreme temperatures. The thermal power plant. It's hot. Oh, yeah, so it requires heat, so I'm not going to be using it to power this base. But that's how they made bases down there. That's how their base probably worked. Okay. And yeah, we have 30 living organisms to take a look at at some point. Alright. Vital signs stabilizing. There's a not insignificant chance that we're going to come back between episodes and you're going to see some stuff reorganized. Because this whole base is compacted into one room. The scanner room. But if I, if I can expand into more rooms, I might move some of these things into said room. Out of hope of doing stuff with that. Hmm. Did I just build them straight across from each other? Here's the scanner and there's the multi-place room. Do I, I can already make that one, right? Right? Uh... That's the wrong item. Water filtration machine. Ugh. It requires a thing I don't know about. Damn it. Aerogel. Oh, there goes that for now. Ah, wall planter. Easy. And a bed, I guess. Observatory. 360 degree v views and very low structural integrity. Enameled glass. 
I'm totally gonna put that above ground just for funsies. Multi-purpose room, also easy to craft. Right, I need, need you to get out of the way. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ha 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 ha. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, wait. Did I put a foundation on you? A little tempting. I don't know. We'll see. Minus three to whole strength. Concern. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. And it come out straight? And it comes out in weird sideways angles? Might as well put a hatch down. Oh! Titanium and quartz. I wonder if that's the reason why I can't put something in the middle of the hallway is because it wants me to leave space for a hatch. Maybe? Ah, uh, what am I short on? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Get that out of my inventory. Ooh, it's got a little staircase going up to it. Look at my base! It has more supports now, so the weird floating part doesn't look as weird anymore. That's like... a primary upside at the moment. Hooray! And it's got an exit over here. So I don't have to go all the way to that side if I want to leave. Ah. Cool. Does this one work with vertical connectors? Nah, you're not a fan, huh? I need to make that enameled glass. I'm prepared for it. What's the uh, foundation made of? Lead and titanium. I think I think the foundation increased your your uh, stability, right? Which seems like it's going to be a problem. Uh, lead. Do 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 do. Oops. Got my quartz already. Let's grab the one glass I have because it's been bothering me. That's just like a random glass sitting there. There we go. Use that one first. I gotta get the horns. Uh, they're here, right? There we go. Enameled glass! I believe I needed two. I like base building. Probably a point to be made about how you're like... den making or something. I also, I like it considerably more when it makes sense to me. When, when, best, when base building makes no sense to me, it's very frustrating. Like when I can't build things together. I eventually just gave up and looked up, like, what the fuck was going on with this stuff. And yeah, like, I guess you can only attach a, a ladder to, like, three types of rooms, even though you can seemingly attach the vertical connector to some other things. It just won't work. And it, won't t and it just won't tell you why. Can I not build you above ground? That is not allowed. Yeah, it's probably against the spirit of it. Oh well. 
Kind of just seemed like fun a little bit. Let's just give myself an exterior spot. Oh no, that has to be attached by something. You can't just blind, just jam it in there. Glass compartment to an observatory, that'd be good. Go get a couple glass. I've got so much more base now. Two quartz is one glass, that'll... Yeah! That'll eat through my supply fast. Oh wait, that doesn't matter. Because there's plenty of glass right around here somewhere. Oh, we do not have light around- Oh, right, that light's pointing at the building now, so it's- It doesn't make any sense anymore. There we go. Go get a bunch of glass if I can. Come and get me, assholes. Man, y'all just had to be the respawning types, huh? <laughs> I don't like that creepy sound. Is it that did I confirm that's you <gasps> was that? Was that? Wait, have I never scanned a whole fish, really? Don't I already know about a whole fish? You get them at Whole Foods. Huh? <laughs> at least I've just I've now discovered all new Whole Foods. Uh, I should have told my thing to scan for for, uh, quartz. Oh, also, I should have emptied my inventory considerably more. This is not gonna be a great quartz trip, as it turns out. What, there's more of you? So you're telling me every asshole ever has respawned, but not my quartz. Huh. Yeah, they're all back, but the quartz isn't. Come up with something better to do, guys. Just leave me alone. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. Those guys don't like contact. Ugh. If I want to, if I want to fulfill my plans, I need more. All right, help me out here. Also, try not to run out of power, please. Just fulfill all my dreams, if you don't mind. Just, you know, please. What does it take to make the thing? And can I make the thing? Uh... Where was it? Bioreactor. Will let me build it in this room? Yes, it, whoa, right in the middle. Alright. That'll be the new central thing in this room? I'll do it. Cool. Wiring kit and lubricant, not even hard to make. That'll help me with the power situation as we go forward. I should probably make that right now, actually. Uh, loop, uh, b -b -b -uh. My inventory's kind of full right now, isn't it? Yeah. Let's deal with the lead problem a little bit. Oh, that doesn't fit anymore. Uh, diamond? Magnetite. Got some cleansing to do right now. The whole inventory is overpacked. Alright, yeah, my power is trending down, so getting busy on that would be important. Uh, lubricant costs... One of those guys. And a wiring kit's a couple silver. Do I have the silver on me? Of course I don't, that'd be too easy. Uh, power's turning down. Let's deal with the quartz thing real quick. Just one quick trip where I grab the quartz that I see here. Then I'll stop scanning for quartz.
Why do you suck? So much. Oh, come on. He didn't even follow me correctly, he just sucks. Not even good at their one job. Their one weird suicidal job. Hey there. Copper. Not what I was hoping for, but cool. Hey, Bunny Ray. I want to put one of you in my little aquarium if I can make one. You guys seem neat. Uh, was that a scannable thing? Oh, cool. The sun's coming up. Alright. Deals with my power problem for now, at least. At least it'll stop trending downward. Let's make one more enameled glass. Let's see, I was trying to make... Gotta double check this one. I was working on... You... Yeah, I need, I need regular glass for you. Why are you so selective about where you can attach to? Huh. You can't pick every single side, just specific ones. Unless constructed with a specific research task in mind, observatories and other glass modules are imprudent for survival purposes. Welcome aboard, Captain. Fuck me. Uh. Lead. Wow, that goes bad fast. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh. Come on, jam that in there. Okay, now it's 1.8. Do I have to repair the whole thing now? Okay. Wow, that went bad. Wow, that went bad. Add foundation. Now it's just floating weird. Now it looks stupid. The, the What the fuck? The structures don't even attach to the foundation, but this is more stable. It looked more stable before. It looked cool. Now it looks stupid, and now it won't break? Great. Uh. That's annoying. I don't like that. I don't like that it looks- it looks less stable, and it's gonna claim it's more stable now. Eh. Why doesn't it have the legs go down to the foundation, at least? Foundation has legs, but it doesn't touch. Is the entire thing currently full of water? Like, am I totally fucked? Okay. Uh... Surely I can, like, repair these, right? If I use my repair tool? Uh... Where the fuck is it? There it is. And not my best call. Alright, let's go out. Let's go not starve real quick. Well, now we know what happens when we go below zero in integrity. Wow, it went down fast. It was like a larger-ish number, so like I was really caught off guard by how quickly it became a negative number. This is neat. Watching it all refill now. Seems like the place is just waterproof, hopefully. Obviously, it's kind of predictive for my whole I would like to be able to breathe in my own base thing, but aside from that, uh, 
Seems like flooding wasn't catastrophic for me. I was just trying to make make a nice little place. Oh, that's cool. Let's do some spot welding to make sure everything's good. Is there a, I don't think there's like a meter anywhere that tells you your overall quality. You kind of have to spot them. When you find a weak spot, it kind of indicates how good that particular... How well you've, you've, you've repaired that particular spot, but that's about it. Yeah, go, let's get rid of these waypoints. My screen's overcrowded at the moment. Alright, I need to feed myself. Vital signs stabilizing. Who wants to be a stabbing victim? Don't worry, rapid Dre. You're you're safe because you're poisonous. And not even cooking will fix that. You can't sterilize poison. That's not what it means. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh damn it. You probably get to live now. Psych? No. <laughs> hey, Gary. You're dead. Gary! Man, you're really top heavy, Gary. You just fall face first the moment you get stabbed. There's so many peepers here! You were the lucky one! Not Gary Jr. Why is music? Don't surprise me with weird music that I don't understand. Scare me with, with all things that are different are scary. Don't don't play scary music. Things are going well now. Look how cool my base is. It's floating because it's bullshit. God damn it. Ah. Uh. I hope- I do hope they patch the foundation at some point to be less stupid. This is stupid. It's not touching my base in any way. The base is just floating over it. It's nonsense. It's total nonsense. Hello, beautiful room that's completely empty. 